I bet you want to know if I bought something on Amazon this month. Well, you're going to have to wait around and find out. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Wendy of Valencia. If you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that big old red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon right next to it so you will be alerted every time I upload because we are getting out of debt you need to get out of debt and we can do it together. So we are smack in the middle of October and things are a changing. Yes, they are. Things are getting different in the Valencia household with our finances. So we've started cash envelopes again and we are doing a Amazon no spend. And I'm actually also doing something else that I haven't talked about. Now, normally, as everybody knows, I use every dollar. I am an every dollar fan and I love it. And for all of you YNAB people, one of these days I am going to try it um, because I want to know what all the buzz is about. But for now, I'm every dollar and I love, love, love it. One of the things that I am doing with our budget this month to shake things up and see how closely we can actually stay to the original budget. So I put all my budget items in the beginning of the month into every dollar. And then normally throughout the month, I move money around from category to category where I see that we need it. This month, I'm not doing that. Why? Because I feel like I was using overages in other categories as a cushion. We're trying to stick to the budget as much as possible. Now, I will tell you, this is going to wreak havoc with my budget at the end of the month because there could quite possibly not be enough money in my checking account to cover it. Because I'm not moving money around, I am not aware of whether I am massively over or massively under in my budget. One of the things that I absolutely wish every dollar would do is do a fixed column of where you start in the beginning of the month, but because your income and outgo tallies based off of your first column, you can't do that. And so by not altering that first column, I don't know if I am gonna be over or under for the month. So I am gonna to have to keep a very, very, very close eye on my bank account and run the numbers fully instead of relying 100% off of every dollar. The reason I'm doing that this way is because I feel like when I know I have extra money in the budget, I tend to spend it. So if I don't know it's there, I'm not gonna spend it. And maybe if we have extra money, it'll go to debt. So thus far, what are some of the changes that have occurred in October to our budget? You all may remember that when we had our actual budget video meeting, and I will link up to that video in the eye in the sky, it actually ended up being quite funny. We did a live budget meeting and it wasn't live live. I recorded it and then I edited it because y'all didn't want to sit there for an hour and watch our budget meeting. So I edited it down, I edited it down and took out you know the the pauses where we're staring at the computer screen mostly so if you remember specifically in that video i asked mauricio how much money do we have left on our easy pass uh can you check the easy pass account it's, fine. it's not gonna get you it's not gonna get you. okay don't worry about it october 5th rolls around and there's a $70 charge from EasyPass in my account. A little irritated about that. Because that could have been dealt with if he had just looked it up. Yep. Because we didn't drive on the toll road from the time we filmed till the time we got charged. It just took a few days for that charge to kick in. So, okay, I'm over it. Um, another thing that was awesome, as I have mentioned previously, I did win Diet Best in September and I found out how much I got paid. I got paid $165. Yeah. So I took $65 out of that and I joined three more games for October because it worked really well. I was really proud of myself and it's super motivating when I start tacking money and dieting together. So um, yeah, I don't wanna lose my money. So I am super pumped with that amount of money and that is getting put into the budget. And honestly, as soon as I programmed that money into the budget, I immediately put it on debt. I did not anticipate 
even though uh, that actually happened a couple of days before the easy pass and had I been doing this normally the way I would normally have done it it would have just been sitting in my account so it's gonna be a dangerous month I'm gonna have to keep close track on my finances and we may be pulling some of the money from our November budget to cover our expenses in October. We will see. So one of the other things I noticed is I had a random 2117 charge from PayPal. I had used PayPal for several things on Etsy in early September for Melina's birthday prep. And um, that t-shirt that I showed you, I got that and a few stickers and a couple of other things on Etsy like that. And I noticed there was a charge on there around the 6th or 7th of October, and I didn't know what it was from. And I looked in my Etsy account, I looked in my um, PayPal account, it didn't match up. So I don't know what it is. I filed it an appeal. I don't know. I'm assuming that it was accidental and they'll give me that money back. And then the second week of October, we, Mauricio and I, there is a Colombian restaurant that just opened up in our area and Mauricio and I both love Colombian food. So one day for lunch, we decided to go over to this new Colombian restaurant and we were super excited. It was like a divey hole in the wall kind of place in a highly Hispanic population area. And so we had lunch there and um, we intended to pay cash for it. Um, Mauricio and I do have $200 of blow money every month. We dole out $20 a week to each one of us. And so he was going to take his 20, I was going to take my 20 and we were going to buy our lunch with that. And that was our, our blow money for the week. The prices in this restaurant were redonkulous. Yeah. It just a regular Colombian dinner was like $19.99 and neither one of us even looked because it really was like a hole in the wall place. So we expected everything to be like nine or $10. Didn't even occur to us that it would be $20 a plate. We ended up being out for lunch with one of Mauricio's coworkers and we didn't have enough cash to foot the bill awkward. So what we ended up doing is grabbing the debit card and then we d took our $40, his 20 and my 20 for the week and went and deposited it into the bank along with some extra. So there is a charge, but it really didn't affect our budget at all. That the extra money came from groceries, but that was super embarrassing. So how is the Amazon no spend going? It's going actually surprisingly well. I have gone back to the um, putting things in the cart and sitting on them for 24 hours, but now it's gonna be a whole month. And what I realized is it might actually be smart for us to do that on a regular basis. Like put something, I'm, I created a list that says things I need for next month's budget. And so maybe that's what I'm gonna do. From now on, when I go to buy stuff, I'm gonna put it in the cart for next month. And then I will know exactly how much I need to budget on Amazon. And it won't be like $150 that I can use on Amazon. So if at the end of the month, I still have $100 left, I go crazy and spend stuff that I don't need. Because truth be told, I'm not giving up Amazon. The convenience is way too easy. The perfect example is when we were getting Melina's party favors uh, ready for her birthday party, we realized that we didn't have any of the mini Ziploc bags. I thought I had had a box of 100, but I can't find them anywhere. And I have looked through everything. They've obviously accidentally gotten misplaced or thrown out. And so, I have to have those for part of the, the thing. And if I were using Amazon, I would literally have clicked on Amazon, order it. But now I'm gonna have to go out, go to Michael's. Hopefully they'll sell them at Michael's. I'm assuming they will, but I really don't know. And I'm gonna have to buy those little Ziploc baggies. And I'm super annoyed by this because if I were able to use Amazon, it would be so much simpler. It would take me like two seconds, but now it's gonna be like an hour to an hour and a half or more if they don't sell them at Michael's. So, you know, Amazon does have its perks. And if they sold it at one hour delivery, I could order them now and get them delivered to me. So yeah, I'm definitely not giving up Amazon for the long haul, but we're doing good with it. I'm I'm doing great and I'm really pleased with the progress we're making this month. And so cross your fingers that I don't overdraft our checking account this month. 
because it could happen. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos <laughs> so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this video right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Get out!